countdown clock is getting closer to zero for Nick Melendez's next spectacular stunt. He's going to attempt to set a new world record by walking and then riding a bicycle on a high wire stretch 135 feet above the ground. 1,500 feet above the canyon floor is skyscraper high. If I thought I was going to lose my life on this wire today, I wouldn't be taking that first step. There are so many different emotions right now. I'm not crying because I'm worried about anything going wrong, but I'm just, I'm so proud of my husband. So you think your job is tough? Well, Nick Walenda walks high wires for a living. He is a seventh generation member of the Flying Walendas, a storied circus family. Jaw dropping, terrifying, dare I say impossible. As you can imagine, this will be a physical test, exhausting the mental workout, maybe even harder for Nick Walenda. I feel like pinching myself because I'm so blessed to be in the position I am. He says, if you even think of failing, if that even crosses your mind, you will fail. I am completely cool and calm because I know that I have the skill and I know I have the training behind me that I can complete this successfully. It's nothing that uh, you haven't encountered before. Just need to relax more. That's right. It's kind of hard to relax when you're 1,500 feet above a canyon. I hear you. Anybody who thinks that they can do this, you say, uh, don't try this at home. Are you scared to do these stunts? Am I scared to do these stunts? That's a great question. A lot of people look over the edge of the building and say, I need to back up. It's just natural. It's normal for you to say, hey, I'm not supposed to be on the edge like this. But we turn that fear into respect. You know, we don't get careless, we never get complacent, and we practice immensely. Good luck. Thank you. The time has arrived. Nick Walenda set to walk into history. I would like to welcome Nick Walenda, a seventh generation member of the Flying Walenda family, as he performs the High Wire Walk.
Ready. Okay, let go. Clear. It's clear. You know, people have heroes in their life, and if there's any hero that I could name, it would be Carl Walenda. It's extremely emotional for us, the fact that... that here this, uh, the greatest wire walker to ever walk the face of the planet would lose his life in this location. And it is, it is a huge deal for me to be able to put this plaque here in remembrance of him. Mom, would you like to say something? It just makes me miss him more doing this. It's, it's wonderful to do this, but it brings back a lot of the memories, too. And good times that I had with him and all he taught me. I'll always remember your grandfather's the very best in his craft. He loved being on the wire, which was his life, and he was uh, an inspiration to me. I'll never forget him. You know, to carry on in his footsteps, and, and almost literally in his footsteps, it's been a goal of mine since, since I was a little kid. About to probably be up there. I know he'd be saying, that's my boy. I know he would. We are coming to you live from perhaps the greatest natural wonder in the world, the Grand Canyon. That is Nick Willenda. How loose is he right now? He's hey. playing with his nephew, Gavin, inside his trailer just minutes before he attempts to cross the Grand Canyon. Woo, that's a view there, buddy. God. I don't want to talk to anyone, Dad. Okay. I got you. Crazy, boy. Winds are way worse than I expected. Nick is now at the halfway point of this walk. Definitely a whip of that cable. Yeah, I can see it. Thank you, Jesus. gentleman has made history. It was way more, way more windy in the movement of the cable and it took every bit of me to stay focused that entire time. This was a lifelong dream for him, a dream realized now as he looks out at what he just did, which was to cross the Grand Canyon. There's always a higher building. There's always a new stunt that's never been done before. There's always a new idea that comes in my head. So I don't know if I can turn that part of my body off ever. You know, I think I have a good 20, 30 years left in me. 